Hey guys, me and my growler here. <laughs> so it's been a long time since I posted a video and that was mostly because I broke the growler and then I was having trouble finding someone that could work on it. Uh, I eventually found a body shop that would give it a shot and, and they were able to uh, fix that portion of the frame that got bent and they also pulled out a portion of the skid plate that had been bent upward um, and was touching the drive shaft. I think it's the drive shaft. Um, but they weren't able to do anything about the CV axle. Um, so we took it to a, a mechanic shop and we tried to see if we could find something that would fit, but um, we weren't able to do that. And there might be something out there, um, but they, I think they kept looking for uh, parts for the growler, which are like impossible to find, um, at least, you know, in your usual places, you'd have to talk to some of the people who have bought growlers for parts. Um, so I don't think they did that. And so I have the growler back. One thing we did do was install the rear wheel steering. Um, so far, I, I know that it works when going in reverse. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. I, I think you can also use it in um, four-wheel drive low. And um, if it's in um, the one setting. Um, but I, I have to test it out some more. But I, I'll go over it. I'll show you um, kind of how things are looking now. Uh, hopefully, I can find an axle and, and get uh, the video is up and running again. All right, well, uh, either way, thanks for putting up with me, and uh, here we go. Folks, me and my growler checking in. Hey guys, sorry that the pole barn's a little messy. We had our dog in here. So I got that piece repaired and I had them also install my rear wheel steering you can see it's pretty good there that being said my cv axle is still broken uh, some of you guys have commented that you got a you got one for parts If any of you have a CV axle available for the rear passenger side, um, let me know. You can email me. I'll put my email on the screen here. Um, and we can talk about maybe if I could purchase it. So it looks good in there. It was a fairly easy installation. It kind of bolts right in. The tie rods go into it. Um, And then there's just one plug that plugs in. Um, talking to the people at the collision shop, it's a lot more stable now with that in. Um, somebody had mentioned it before, but it, it was pretty unstable with just those plates there. Um, the guy from the collision shop recommended that we either... Um, put a, a bar or a big piece of thick metal to 
kind of brace that or uh, once I told him about the this rear wheel steering um, he said we should probably install that to see if it would give it stability and it did quite a bit I'm gonna see if I can get a video of it turning the back wheels here <clears throat> I just had it in the run position because I was reinflating all the tires and lifting up the, the growler after I had them work on it because um, I got it back and all the flyers, all the tires were completely flat. Uh, so be careful with that if, if you have anyone work on it um, because it seems like they don't know exactly how to work that now here's the old bracket that was in place i think that was uh rear passenger and i mean this itself is is pretty stable right it, it didn't bend at all or anything the problem is it exerts so much force on that portion of the, the frame that's supposed to hold the rear wheel steering that uh, it causes it to bend really easily. The guy at the collision shop said he's pretty surprised it didn't bend just with normal driving because he was able to really push it just with his hand and, and got it to bend quite a bit. Or not bend, but it was shaky. Quite a bit of residue here. Again, I don't know much about diesel, but there's something I'm supposed to be doing to clean that out. If, if any of you guys know, let me know. Let's see if we can.
I have to play with it some more. Um, I thought it worked in, in four wheel drive low as well as reverse. Um, but I have to double check. I'll try and get a, a new video out soon of me playing with it a little bit. Um, Alright guys, well until next time, I appreciate you guys watching the videos, let me know if you have any questions that I can help with, or, um, or if you think any of the other viewers can help with. Alright, thanks a lot.